I, I think uh, pro probably the one bit in common, regardless of who you are, is to ensure that you understand who your customer is and what she wants from you uh, relative to your peer set. Um, and so I think that, you know, you might be surprised to, if you ask the question, how few retailers really understand their customers in a deep way um, and understand what their compelling competitive advantage is in the market. And so I think if you, st you know, I think one of the common threads throughout this conversation has been uh, going back to who your customer is, what she wants uh, and uh, from you and how you're delivering against those expectations. And so I think it's, I think it's really about starting from that, from that sort of lens um, uh, and then working out from there because then you can start thinking about how do my, how is my digital experience lining up against my target customer and what she wants? How is my physical experience lining up against my target customer and what she wants? How does that compare to my competitive set and how I'm positioned against them? Why is she going to shop with me and not someone else? So I think, you know, I think the, um, and that's not easy to do. If you don't, if you don't have a customer centric point of view today, I think building that out is not necessarily easy, but you know, you can do it through, uh, uh, you know, research, you can do it through using, you know, behavioral data from your, 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 your transaction database to, to help understand. Um, um, but I, I think having that core capability of knowing, being able to know and speak with your customer is, is really, really important.